Hey guys, last episode we were looking at, no, we were actually making crystal myth on a campfire, slash healing powder, and uh, this sunny smile told us to go see Trudy, the bartender, as she may have another quest for us, so I'm going to head over there, as you can see, oh, that dog is slow, okay, that didn't work, <coughs> So, I don't know if I should just fast travel. I think I could just, should might as well just fast travel. Yeah, that would be, a, that would have been a long walk and, uh, takes up a lot of space to fill in myself to run there and that's not very fun for you guys to watch. And that's all I really care about is that it's appealing and fun for people to watch. So I'm gonna go check up on this, the town the town mom slash town bicycle, I like to say. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get okay, out. Okay, tough guy. Get out of here. Who's that punk? Who's that? Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Oh, that Looks like about. our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survived by <sighs> an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where is this guy? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Oh, that's easy. I could just be working for the other guys. God, you dumb woman. You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. <laughs> Who the hell is that? Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them Chain in from California gang. to work on the rail lines. Problem oh God, is, it bloods. turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Alrighty. Never mind, piss off. All right. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. The town of course, helping bicycle Ringo would also me make a the discount. powder mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. No, no, no. Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Okay. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. That of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. Wow. And it hasn't been working since. I don't care about your freaking radio. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why is that, that whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Oh, Merchants critters! Avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers Cobb. is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out that? there. Some premium whiskey. Want me to take a look at that freaking radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Oh. I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. I'm talking about my friend Victor. 
It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy. Cheerful cowboy I robot. All very creepy. Yeah, it is creepy. Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. Oh, jeez. That makes me feel safe. It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Dun, dun, dun. Fine. There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. The new California oh Republic God, she got won't the most shut power up. in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. Okay. Oh my lord. I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. <laughs> okay. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. I'll take them out, no problem. Be careful. Oh, shut up. Oh, cool. That's good enough. Oh no. Uh. Good enough. Let's fix this radio. Oh. Whatever. Screw you. Why do you keep looking up? That's creepy. Like a porcelain doll. Freaking town bike. Get out of here! Get out of my face! Oh, that's really glitchy. Oh no, my tumbleweed! No! No, come back! Holy shit! You're going uphill? Come on. Come on, let's go see this Ringo. And his dingo. Ringo with his dingo. Get out of there. So he's in there. I'm just gonna park my... Stay. Frickin' tumbleweed. That's close enough. Who are you? And what do you want with me? Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. Is that a pipe bomb? We got off to a bad start. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of caravan. You know how to play? Uh... Piss off. Yeah. I don't he want to play cards. Very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. I'll help you. Uh, there you go. My caravan was on the return trip from California and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. I took a few of the bandits down before I ran, so I figured their friends are out for revenge. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town That's doesn't good. throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. I want to help you, actually. You need a hard gun. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps. But you get me out of this, and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. Deal. We'd just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Ooh. Let's see what I can get. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Ho oh, ho ho. I beg to differ with the town bicycle slash mom. Okay. Th thank you guys for watching, and, uh...
stay tuned for the next episode where we will probably round up a posse and kill a bunch of myth dealers. See ya!